step as a senior role or other positions. So as we talked about from the um, in terms of first steps, uh, continue with the certifications for the vendor of your choice, such as CCMP, CCIE, CCDE. Start pursuing a network engineering position, but understand what the role and the responsibilities are. Know what am I going to be doing? Configuring VLANs, configuring ACL policies, configuring QoS, and you kind of assess on your knowledge of those technologies and see if it's a good fit or not. Continue to learn. Continue to always get training. Do lab. You always have to be learning. You have always have to be motivated because motivated keeps you going to always be learning. And the labs and the training will continue to enforce the new technologies to you to progress of not just becoming a network engineer but even becoming a senior network engineer or an expert or having a particular specialty in your field. But be humble and be very clear. Just understand that we do not know everything. There's a lot of things in IT and when you when you learn about something you go wow there's a lot of stuff in IT. Just be humble though. Okay but also be very clear on what you stand for, what's important to you as well. Be confident. Take nothing personal. And there will be a time. This happens to every person. This is it's just not me that they ask. Um, but you will be a mentor. And you will be a mentor to others when they ask you, I want to be a network engineer. And I believe that there's a lot of things in IT. A lot of people have the impression that, well, they're going to take over my, they're going to take, they're going to take my job. There are so many IT opportunities out there, okay? If you are motivated, if you continue to learn and take and be motivated and to learn the technology. A lot of people will say, yes, I want, I'm going for my CCIE. That's all the talk goes. It's all talk. There's no action. And this is very, very common, though. True, it takes time, but that's part of the thing. Time and being motivated that you want this. You have to be passionate if you want to get this. And I mean, because for me, I worked hard for many, many years just to get where I want to be because for one, I do love what I'm doing. But 13 years ago, I wanted to be a network engineer. And I feel that it is definitely possible for any person if you're motivated and you take the time to do it. I want to thank you for watching our video series on I want to be a network engineer. Take this video as learning some of the pros and cons. There are some tips, suggestions, and action items in terms of first steps and next steps for everyone to consider for their career. I wish you best of luck. You can post comments on particular questions you may have, and we can definitely follow up with other videos in this series to try to answer some of those questions that you guys may have. You can find out more training information that we, that we have in, in regards to network and configurations at routehub.com training. Thank you for watching.